so in the previous video we have added the police characters and also the animations for that characters now in this video we will add the police officer character right here in the environment and then write down the scripts for that police character so that the police character can walk inside the map and then try to shoot down the player if he do any crimes so for adding the police character let's go inside the model underscore special forces folder and from here you can select whatever character you want for now i will just select the first one so just drag and drop the first police character like this let's move it down and click on prefab unpack completely then let's rename this to police officer that's it from this police officer we will check inside the police officers as you can see everything is set up so we don't need to remove anything and we will leave this animator as it is because if you check this animator the avatar is already added and also all of the other required options as well and if you don't have the animator then make sure that if you are using this character then make sure that all of this avatar and other options are added or you can just add them manually okay so once you added the police officer now let's rotate it on the y axis now as you can see the police is now facing forward and if you turn on the gizmos from this waypoint the police will walk forward okay when there is no crime done in the city so he will move from there okay but for now let's create a script for our police officers so right here in the scripts folder as you know we have this police npc Right here we will create a new c -sharp script by the name of police officer then click on the police officer game object and drag and drop the script right there and let's move it forward above the animator and once you do that let's open this up right here let's remove the start and update function and let's add a header by the name of character info or information or you can name this whatever you want and first of all we will create a public float by the name of moving speed then after this we will create another public float by the name of running speed then after this we will create a private float by the name of current moving speed then the next float will be by the name of turning speed which will be by default equals to 300f then the last one will be the stop speed and the stop speed by default will be 1f after this down below we will create another header by the name of destination variable or just VAR and in here we will create a public vector 3 by the name of destination and then let's create a public bool by the name of destination reached then after this the next header will be by the name of police AI or you can name this whatever you want then in here we need a reference to our player layer mask so we will say public layer mask and let's name this as player mask or just player layer then we will create a public float by the name of vision radius which, which will be the vision radius of the police officer then the next float will be the shooting radius then after this we will create a public bool by the name of player in vision radius and guys make sure that you type the exact name as mine or else you will be 
caught up in many errors. After the player in vision radius, we will create another public tool by the name of player in shooting radius. Then right down below, we will create another header by the name of police shooting variable in which we will create a reference to our wanted level script because we will be needing the wanted level variables right here on the police officer script. So let's name this as wanted level script. Then after this, right down below, we will create a start function in which we will assign the wanted level script automatically to the police officer reference right here. So for that, we will simply say wanted level script, which we name it right here. So then this wanted level script will be equals to game object dot find object of type and that type will be the wanted level that's it so what this code will do this will simply check all of the game objects inside the hierarchy and on whatever game object if there is the wanted level script it will basically just fetch this that script from there and it will assign that script to this wanted level script reference right here for example if we click on the player right here on the player we have this wanted level script later in the future video we will be adding this wanted level script to some other game object but that is for the future for now it is on the player script so it will just basically get the wanted level script from the player game object and it will simply assign it to this wanted level script right here by using just this code now after this we will set the current moving speed of the player to the moving speed whenever the game starts then after this we will create the update function and inside this update function we will say that player in vision radius will be equals to physics dot check sphere and then in here we will say transform dot position then we will say vision radius and then the player layer after this we will say player in shooting radius will be equals to physics dot check sphere and in here we will do the same as we did up there but right here we will only change this from the vision radius to the shooting radius so right here we are just simply checking if the player is in vision radius or is in shooting radius then according to that condition we will call different functions for example if the player is in vision radius then we will make the police officer follow the player and if the player is both in the vision radius and also in the shooting radius then the police officer will simply shoot down the player and what this physics dot check sphere will do it will basically play a noise if an object is within the sphere radius so right here we are creating a sphere around the police officer as you can see this will be the position of the sphere which will be the police officer position so that's why we use transform dot position and then we give a radius to the sphere so the radius will be the vision radius we will be setting this vision radius inside unity and then after that this check sphere required the layer of that object which we want to find or which we want to detect inside this sphere so that layer will be the player layer so in this way we will get to know or the police officer will get to know that if the player is inside the vision radius or in the shooting radius or both in the vision radius and shooting radius at the same time so in this way this both conditions will work 
and now with all of the variable set and the condition set now in the next video we will continue our work on the police officer